Recently, Tesla CEO Elon Musk dropped some hints about Tesla's building a new Gigafactory. Mr. Musk also refuted the speculations that Tesla's next dedicated production facility will be located in a Russian city. Instead, the billionaire noted that his car company is on the hunt for a suitable location elsewhere. Rumors of a potential Tesla Gigafactory in Russia initially emerged in May, after Tesla's CEO Elon Musk addressed a large group of students in a youth tech event known as New Knowledge in Russia. I think we're close to establishing Tesla's presence in Russia, and that would be great, Elon Musk said via video conference. He added that Tesla would be building more facilities in neighboring countries like Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, and many, many more. Russian media had also reported that the US-based electric car maker was planning to build its next gigafactory in the country. As indicated by the news outlet Arguments of the Week, the first Tesla Russian gigafactory plant was supposed to be built in Korolev, the heart of Russian cosmonautics. This news was also confirmed by the Russian Federation Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Now, Tesla CEO has debunked the reports of a possible Tesla factory in Russia in a comment on Twitter. Tesla has not yet decided on a fourth gigafactory location, Mr. Musk wrote in a post. By stating the company has not yet decided the location for a fourth plant, Mr. Musk hints that the company is currently in the process of making a decision. In the past, there have also been rumors that Tesla's next gigafactory could end up in the United Kingdom. Earlier this year, UK Minister of State for Business Kwasi Kwarteng pledged to support Tesla for the potential car production facility in Somerset, a county in southwest England. He added that the 635-acre gravity site in Somerset has numerous strategic advantages, including having the manufacturing skill enough to sustain an excellent Tesla facility. Additionally, Vladislav Shapsha, the head of the Kaluga region, and other political figures like Moscow Governor Andrei Vorobyov also made attempts to bring a Tesla factory after the CEO of the company announced that the automaker's entry into Russia was inevitable. As highlighted in a Somerset Live report, regional authorities and experts in the UK remarked that a Tesla plant in Britain could be a smart move for the automaker considering the country's aggressive sustainability goals. The Faraday Institution estimated that Britain would likely need at least eight gigafactories by 2040 to meet its demand for electric cars and battery-based products. At this point, neither Elon Musk nor Tesla has commented on the potential UK gigafactory, but it has been confirmed that the company has been considering India as a potential location for its new facility. The automaker has established a subsidiary in Bangalore and announced earlier this year that it would begin selling its EVs in the country, initially with imported Model 3 all-electric sedans. In February, however, the Indian government had announced plans for a new Tesla Gigafactory on the subcontinent. Considering that India is the fifth largest vehicle market in the world, it makes sense for Tesla to introduce its EVs and build its own production facility in the country, as this could help lower the overall greenhouse emissions there. Unfortunately, due to high import duties and strict regulations, the automaker is yet to start selling its EVs in India. In the past few months, Tesla and other automakers, including Volkswagen and Honda, have been trying to write to the Indian ministries, seeking sharply lower import taxes on EVs. However, the Indian government is reportedly rethinking its imports laws and regulations. This means that the country could slash import duties to as low as 40% on electric cars with a value under 40,000 US dollars. Similarly, import tax for cars with a price tag above 40,000 US dollars could be dropped from the current 100% to 60%. Currently, Tesla has three active car production plants, and they include Gigafactory Nevada, Gigafactory Shanghai, and Gigafactory Buffalo. However, there are two new massive factories already under construction. One is Gigafactory Austin in Texas, and the other is Gigafactory Berlin, Germany.
It is not clear whether Tesla's second Gigafactory in Europe would necessarily provide the automaker with the greatest potential for boosting the sales in the region, especially given that shipping costs to the European mainland and labor costs in the UK are extremely high. However, it's anyone's best guess what the automaker will set up next to its Gigafactory in a few countries next door to Germany with the abundant local workforce, plenty of land for expansion, and presence of auto industries. Therefore, if speculations for a potential UK Gigafactory are true, Tesla could effectively handle the demand for its electric vehicles without any issues if it had two functional facilities in the region. As EVs take off in popularity, the automaker leads the charge worldwide, and the plans to double its production capacity in its already impressive lineup of production facilities will definitely fast-track the transition to electrification. With its EV factories in working order, the company already has more EV production capacity than any other automaker in the world, and with Giga Shanghai now serving as Tesla's main electric vehicle expert hub, there is a good chance that delivery numbers for the company's two remaining quarters would be insane. In fact, last month, reports indicated that Tesla's Gigafactory Shanghai has hit a production rate of 1,000 vehicles per day for Tesla Model Y SUV. On the other hand, the production rate for Tesla Model 3 at the facility stands at 800 units per day. This improvement at Gigafactory Shanghai was achieved after the automaker temporarily halted Model Y production to pave the way for major upgrades on its plant's assembly lines. Gigafactory Shanghai is now playing a major role in ensuring that Tesla's quarterly deliveries are impressive. As per Wall Street estimates, Tesla's expected to deliver over 221,000 vehicles in the upcoming fourth quarter of 2021. Gigafactory Shanghai is expected to contribute about half of the estimated figures. Meanwhile, Tesla's much-anticipated Model Y all-electric crossover has now been approved for sales in Australia according to TechAU. This marks a major regulatory milestone as the company will now be able to import the car into the country without any hitches. Australia's Department of Infrastructure recently issued Tesla an approval to supply its Model Y vehicles to the market in unlimited numbers. Under Rover, an approval documentation that administers Road Vehicles to Australia's Road Vehicle Standards Act 2018 Three variants of the Tesla Model Y have been approved for sales in the country, and these are Standard Range, which comes with a 69.2 kWh battery and delivers 255 kW of power, Long Range version with 92 kWh battery and 375 kW of power, and Performance version, which boasts 393 kW of power capacity. As for the specs of the three variants, the standard range version of the crossover promises 283 miles of driving range, an acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds. The vehicle is available with standard 19-inch Gemini wheels or optional 20-inch induction wheels. The long range version, on the other hand, boasts up to 337 miles of driving range and can sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5 seconds. The vehicle also comes with 20-inch induction wheels as standard and has new Michelin Sport EV tires, according to images posted on the Australian Tesla Model 3 and Model Y social media pages. The performance version of Tesla Model Y promises 328 miles of driving range and is capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds. It comes with standard features like performance brakes, lowered suspension, and 21-inch Uber turbine wheels. There is no confirmed date for local sales as of yet, but Tesla representatives reportedly confirmed that some Model Y pre-orders would start receiving their deliveries towards the end of the year or in early 2022. Regulatory delays, ongoing global semiconductor shortages, and strong demand could be some of the possible reasons behind Tesla's not confirming the exact date for local deliveries. However, when the automaker kicks off deliveries in the country, the Model Y is expected to put a rocket under EV sales there. This is because most car buyers in Australia tend to favor compact SUVs, which make up around half of the total sales, according to the national car registrations. 
So it means that the way the Tesla Model 3 is popular globally, Tesla Model Y SUV should be even more so.